folks, it's Rick. Happy Telly Taco Tuesday, number 20. So we made it to Tele Taco Tuesday number 20. Um, not consecutive Tuesdays, I, and I think I missed a few. Some of them I made up on Wednesdays. So I wanted to cover a couple topics today. I want to talk about my, um, uh, my El Degas Telecaster, um, which is... I'll take this off so that evil won't get upset. But um, this is the Eldega Stylecaster that I grew up with. You know, it was like my first guitar, really. Uh, I mean, it was. And so it went in a, um, in a state of disrepair for a long time. Starting last year, when we were doing the uh, 30 day vlog challenge, which I don't think anybody's up for anymore. I think it was beginning of June or end of June, sometime in June, and then through July, I started working on this and I started showing people how, uh, how it came. Because at that point, there was nothing on it. I had this, just the plate <laughs> with maybe two knobs and the switch, but they were broken. And uh, I didn't have any pickups. I had the pick guard, but I didn't have a bridge, I didn't have a nut. I didn't have any tuners, I didn't have a truss rod cover, I didn't have string trees, um, and I didn't have a jack or a jack plate. So it was pretty bare. Um, you can go back and watch those if you're so inclined. Initially, I put the pickups from the uh, from the road worn Telecaster in this, which were um, Tex Mex pickups. But and I got these for the um, for the road worn Telecaster. So this is an old story. I've told it before. Um, I I like these pickups a lot, but I don't like them for a Telecaster for you know what's supposed to be uh, a stock Telecaster. So um, I switched them. I put these very expensive pickups in this. Inexpensive guitar, but that's okay. This this guitar is priceless to me. So I thought I'd do like a one year review after setting it up. I love this guitar a lot. But, um, I mean, if somebody else played this, they'd be like, what a hunk of junk. Uh, <laughs> I, I bet this is like a, this is like a 14 or 16 inch radius. Uh, but it's very flat. And the frets are very small. The 
neck is a little bit rough to play. Uh, but I did sand the back of it, and so it's really slick. Uh, some people might really like it. Unless you have carpal tunnel syndrome, you would not be able to play this guitar. I can tell you that, because I had carpal tunnel syndrome, and I got the, uh, the stupid surgery, well, beautiful surgery. Now I can play again. But um, this is not easy to play, especially if you're barring things. Granted, my hand's a little bit messed up, but... Um, not as much mobility as I had before the surgery. Of course, before the surgery, I couldn't play. I mean, I could, but badly. This nut myself. I was given a, a, a blank uh, bone nut. I cut it and sanded it and I made these nut slots. People are like, you gotta buy the right files. Well, I cheated and I used um, sandpaper uh, that I just folded and you know, different thicknesses of sandpaper basically and different grips. And um, I think it sounds okay. intonation once I set this it's been great I've thought before about getting um, new saddles because these are El Cheapo saddles I think these saddles cost $18 and this bridge is definitely an El Cheapo bridge but I needed one that was a top loader because there's no holes and I don't want to drill holes through it so I had to get one that was a top loader I bought this this is actually uh, an Epiphone uh, bell type truss rod cover but the original truss rod cover on this guitar was chrome and so I wanted at least you know a chrome dipped uh, you know truss rod cover and I got that I got these uh, 70s vintage fender tuners they are not in the picture very well at all there they are 70s vintage uh, they were cool because this guitar is from the 70s I got all the electronics um, from Guitar Fetish, GFS. This I got online somewhere, Amazon, whatever. Um, the input jack I stole off of a speaker in my garage. I think this guitar sounds absolutely tremendous. relic because it's from 1970 
75 or 76. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> other thing is that um, this past week and you know, like this past weekend, um, you know what? The YouTube guitar community has been really nice. I just got to say that it has been absolutely very, very nice. The um, guitar community at hand here it, uh, on YouTube and um, a group of folks who always support e each other. That's been a lot of fun. If you think about it, there's a minimum of, uh, of trolling going on right now within our uh, immediate, immediate community. All right, so uh, for peace.